now because at this point it is absolutely insane. Ohio State has to be cheating. I need you to take a long look at this man right here. This is Brian Hartline and he is the single handed reason why Ohio State any receiver that they want, they will always get them. Ohio State has already landed the number one wide receiver in the class of 2024, and they just added five-star wide receiver and the fifth best receiver in the country, Mylon Graham. This guy is 6'1", 170 pounds, and let's see, let's see what he's looking like on the field. You guys are paired up. Nah, I don't think y'all understand how dominant Ohio State has been. This past season, they had three top 10 wide receivers. And the season before that, they had three top 20 receivers. And the season before that, I wanna say they had another three top 15 receivers. Oh, Brian Hartline is single-handedly taking over the recruiting game when it comes to wide receivers. Any receiver that he wants, even double dipping, you normally don't see the number one guy and the number five guy at the same position both get recruited Fairly quick, oh, give me your ankles, little boy. Swoop your little cut back, and then it's outrun him. I got my grab is smooth out here. But Brian Hartline absolutely is the most broken recruiter in all of college football. Like his ability to be like go on 24-7 sports right now and go look at go look at Brian Hartline and who he's recruited. He has recruited Jackson Smith and Jigba, CJ Stroud. Chris Olave, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., uh, like, I mean, you name it, any of their top offensive players for the most part, he is recruited by himself. Obviously not by himself, but we gotta hype up the video a little bit. But now let's focus up on Mylon Graham. This guy is a super shifty, but very smooth wide receiver. I, I love that the, they they recruit what works. You're not you never see Ohio State really recruit the six five. This is a great release, by the way. He could, he could work on he could work on getting out of this. He can work on exploding out of this. I love this extreme stem to the outside. I think if he works on this breakdown and really being able to explode out of this instead of kind of still creeping upfield. I mean he that's gonna work all day at the high school level, but at the college level, you would like to see that be a little bit crisper. But getting back to what I was saying, you don't really see Ohio State bringing in the big 6'4", 6'5", wide receiver who's like 220 pounds, but just is an absolute, just throw it up to him. They tend to get that guy who's in the six foot, six foot one range. I mean, get, go up and high point that! Attacking the ball! But again, you see you you see them draft or you see them recruiting the guys who are like six foot, six foot one, barely two hundred pounds, if even. They're normally between one eighty and one ninety, and they're just very smooth route runners. And I feel like that frame, that frame of wide receiver is the most moldable because you could turn them into the speedster. You could turn them into the Justin Jefferson guy who's going to be running your 15, 20 yard ends all day, just b blowing by guys. You could turn them into your Tyreek Hills. I mean, Tyreek Hills is a little bit shorter, but you could, you could turn them into a guy that's just a straight up take the top of the defense type of guy. You could turn them into a Hunter Renfro, a guy who's just a pure route running technician. They though like the six foot, six foot one, 190 pound wide receiver is the like to me it's the most you could kind of turn that player into whatever you want and Ohio State has proven year after year with every single first and second round receiver that they get drafted they know how to take those receivers and mold them into draft eligible players and I think that the combo of Jeremiah Smith and Mylon Graham plus you already know they're gonna get another five-star receiver or another high tier four-star receiver in this class like don't even don't even worry like he like Ohio State is not done and Brian Hartline is not done when it comes to getting their top guys this kid is so smooth out here after the run are you kidding me Hold up, I'm trying to talk through this because like, I, I really am just trying to talk and explain like how good Ohio State has been at recruiting. This is a, this, this should have been the first play. First off, this is a great route. I, he, he runs a little tall in his routes, but you love to see this. Gets him to, gets him to commit, breaks down nice and low, get, gets the hands nice and low, boom. Catches it, gets a field, swoop, ankles, break one tackle, accelerate through that, cut back. That's smooth. That is just a phenomenal play right there. I love that route running too. The being able to snap it off and just boom. Like you like when you're running your routes, you want your hands to almost be touching the ground with how low that you're getting. Yeah, like he he can continue he can continue to work on this. Like if go look at Brandon Innes' tape, he's a lot better as as far as being very violent with snapping off his routes. But I like this. I mean, that's like that's a clean snap off. Like, don't get me wrong, like, especially for a junior, that's a very clean route. 
overall, I am super excited. I think that Mylon Graham, Mylon Graham is going to be your Marvin Harrison Jr. guy, and Jeremiah Smith is going to be your Jackson Smith and Jigba. Marvin Harrison Jr. is like, Mylon Graham's gonna give you that consistency. He's gonna be the guy that's always gonna be there. You know, he's like sure hands, consistent catcher. Can He's gonna have his pop-off games. But Jeremiah Smith is gonna be the guy that everybody's hyping about because he's just gonna be the better athlete overall. I mean, just look at the patience on this release. Oh, no, swoop. super late. Quarterback should have got the ball on him like four seconds ago. But again, just phenomenal route running, great releases. I love this kid's game. Like, Ohio State knows, it's not even the fact that Ohio State recruits all of these top tier wide receivers. It's the fact that the guys are not even just like, like they're quality receivers. Like normally you'll see guys and you know, especially at the receiver position, they're good athletes. Not good receivers, but they're good athletes. You know, they can catch a ball and run fast, but they're not great receivers. Ohio State gets these guys who are great route runners, technicians, and then have that athleticism on top of that. So Ohio State landed themselves another five-star wide receiver in Mylon Graham. I think that this guy is going to be an absolute home run for you guys. Again, that wide receiver room is just, it just stays stacked. I'm like. There's no other way to put it. Like, if, if you're not getting it done in Ohio State, you will get, you might as well hit the transfer portal because I don't care if you're a five star recruit going in, they're bringing in three more five star recruits the next recruiting cycle. So it keeps that Ohio State, uh, it keeps that Ohio State wide receiver room elevated super, super high. If I'm a quarterback, I know that Dylan Rayola decommitted from Ohio State. I don't know how you don't go to Ohio State with the amount of receiving talent that they have proving that they can get quarterbacks to the NFL. CJ Stroud is kind of the first guy to really be looking like he's gonna fully pan out, but they pump out NFL caliber wide receivers. So I think that Aaron Nolan is going to be the quarterback to end up going to Ohio State. So he's gonna get the most blessed wide receiver group of all time. Overall, this, Ohio State, they're locked. Really, you know, it's going to take a year or two to see which quarterback out of the, out of the quarterbacks that they have. It's going to be the one to develop, going to be one to take over C.J. Stroud's throne. They have their wide receiver talent there already. You don't have to worry about them really losing a whole lot. They still keep Travion Henderson. Ohio State's in a very good spot. Like, they just got to figure out that quarterback play. But overall, Ohio State's in a great spot. Comment down below and leave this video a like. What are you guys' thoughts on Mylon Graham, your new five-star wide receiver? Comment down below to share your guys' thoughts on this recruiting class overall. It's shaping up to be a beautiful recruiting class for the Buckeyes. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the daily videos that we drop on the channel. My goal is to not miss a upload for the rest of the year. We're trying to get double uploads for the rest of the year. And then once we get into football season, getting into the daily triple uploads when there's more content to be covering. But hey. We'll get there one day at a time, but if you want to be a part of that journey, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. I love and appreciate all y'all, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.